Right, hello folks and welcome back to the channel to this Star Citizen Performance Guide. Now, before you shoot me dead, you know, I have tried a little bit of settings to show you a little bit how much you can gain in performance. So we're going to go through the settings that I changed and see how much you can gain in a frame per second and perhaps a little bit reducing the latency if we can but uh, yeah without losing uh, uh, time too much I'm gonna show you right now the very first thing you have to do when you play Star Citizen in VR and this is uh, basically activate uh, space warp and to do that you go uh, in virtual desktop setting I'm assuming you are using virtual desktop because otherwise that would be a problem and you have to activate this uh, synchronous space warp okay you put it on always enable I used to have uh, now uh, 29 frames per second now I'll go back and uh, let's see boom we have uh, 55 60 FPS okay because this space warp is a sort of a frame generation obviously as you can see the latency spiked from 90 milliseconds to 111 milliseconds but you know uh, you have to sacrifice something but let's see if we can get more improvement uh, uh, changing the in-game settings which now I am going to show you so the first thing I did was obviously to go into the graphic settings and without even thinking twice you have to go to the quality preset and select everything on low so from now from uh, 60 fps we've got now how much do we get nothing freaking changed which is very very weird but anyway the latency at least he has reduced a little bit uh, to 102 milliseconds oh look look we're having it looking in this direction 61 63 fps wow 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 so we are we are uh, improving a little bit the situation now obviously let's go back to the uh, graphic settings uh, and uh, this uh, i think we should go obviously for dlss and we're gonna put uh, at performance level because otherwise i don't think we're gonna uh, gain anything the convolutional neural network is the model i think uh, the transformer model is better probably we can try the transformer model and see what how what happens so, so let me see at this point uh, yeah we did gain uh, some fps over here and uh, the latency is reduced to 88 milliseconds looking in this direction see 66 oh well, very nice very nice i think uh, uh this uh, I, you know it's very difficult to probably optimize for any part of the game especially if you're flying so i have to i have to stay still somewhere and try to understand what what every single setting does so looking at this point for example like I was be doing before we already gained quite a bit and reduced uh, the latency to 89 90 from 120 that was before okay now can we improve still the situation we could uh, we could reduce the graphics quality from godlike to uh, uh, perhaps uh, I would go straight to high otherwise uh, we would uh, um, have some problems so bear with me because I have to uh, reboot uh, the game and I'm gonna start the game from this position and see what happens so remember this uh, now we're getting 67 68 looking in that direction okay with the godlike it still didn't change we're gonna do the same thing now rebooting the game and see with the graphics quality on high how much we gained right so as you can see uh, changing the resolution from uh, uh, godlike to high graphics quality it didn't bring us uh, many changes but actually as you can see i can uh, look in this direction i can uh, 
uh, see an increased uh, um, latency in the game thing. You know, the total latency seems a little bit lower than before. It was uh, around 88. Now you can see it's about 84, 85, 86, something like that. But the frame rate itself it didn't really change. Okay, um, let's start a little bit reducing the bit rate from 500 megabit per second. Let's try to reduce it to 200 and see what it comes, what happens, uh, and and also let's reduce the target frame rate to 72 instead of uh, uh, 90. To go to virtual desktop, you see here VR frame rate. We can put it uh, here 72. And then we have to go to uh, the streaming settings. Let me see on virtual desktop, um, on the streamer settings. We go over here and we go here and we change this into H264. Okay, we, I think we should probably try each EVC. Let's try let's each EVC 10 bit. Okay. Right. Another thing we can try is to reduce the, uh, the horizontal FOV tar tangent to 90% and vertical FOV tangent to 90%. Both of these. Okay. The redu let's, let's reduce the, uh, bitrate of the streaming. Uh, yeah, this is uh, okay. We did it uh, to 200, 200 megabit per second because we changed the codec. Okay. So all we have to do is to reboot again the game. Right. So uh, after we did all this, what happens here? So we have done, uh, we got the, uh, for a few seconds over there. Right. So we got. 65 68 fps which is not bad at all looking in the same direction the latency didn't change too much probably increased a little bit so if you want to do that if you want to reduce the latency probably should reduce the bitrate but i wouldn't recommend to go below 150 megabit per second otherwise you start seeing a weird shit so um i think uh, you know reducing the fob uh, the tangent uh, to you know 90 percent uh, yeah improved uh, slightly the fps here we we're getting around the 69 fps for one second we got it in this point so i guess you know this thing work now uh, there is other things I could try, but I haven't tested yet. It would take me a little bit more time. And is that uh, perhaps to use uh, OpenXR Toolkit and see whether I could improve even further. But I think, uh, to be honest, this is already pretty good. Pretty good performance, considering I am here. Uh, obviously, I cannot guarantee this is going to work in any point in Star Citizen because maybe uh, inside the cities uh, it's going to be much worse. But I think it's a good compromise um, between uh, you know visual quality and FPS, as you can see. Let's go and see in the lobby just to see how how that that is. Uh, all right, okay. So let's go and see the ship shop because yesterday I was having a dreadful performance over there. Where is it? Is it here? Yes. So, not bad, not bad. 50 FPS over here. Because, yeah, 55, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go and see that place here that was terrible yesterday. Okay, okay. We are getting massive drops here, 37. But honestly, it was much worse yesterday. So I can feel it's a worse here, but yeah, 180 milliseconds of latency is just just terrible. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I understand it. Uh, it's like this. You know, there's much. There isn't much you can do at this point here. Uh, so you have to deal with that. Uh, that is in this area you're gonna have massive frame rate drops. Okay, but I, I'm pretty sure that uh, probably in space so you're gonna get 72 fps uh, uh, pretty much constant perhaps okay haven't tested it but 
please try and let me know in the comments uh, how these settings work for you if you have any suggestion please do let me know in the comments down below and uh, i hope this video is helpful to you at least uh, a little bit if so please like and subscribe and i will see you next time we are dead signing out